Stealth aircraft are like invisible sky protectors. They stay hidden in the sky, away from the public and enemies. The United States military has some advanced and secretive aircraft. And today, we're going to reveal one of their most powerful stealth aircraft. Welcome back to the channel. In this video, we'll be exploring the secret world of stealth aircraft above the clouds and introducing you to the famous Black Manta. Stealth aircraft are special planes equipped with advanced technology for stealth and spying. Contrary to what you might see in sci-fi movies, they don't have a magical cloaking devices to make them invisible. Instead, they use different tech to hide from sensors. These aircraft have lots of fancy gadgets that make them so hard to spot on enemy radar and heat sensors. Some even try to be super quiet. They are designed this way to sneak into enemy territory for spying missions or to help other planes with their jobs. While they're not completely invisible, some lucky folks have actually seen them in action and mistaken them for UFOs or, or unidentified flying objects. The best spot to catch a glimpse of a stealth aircraft is in Antelope Valley. Antelope Valley is up north of Los Angeles, California and it covers a huge area of 300 acres between Palmdale and Lancaster. This vast land is a hot spot for military aircraft activities. It's home to secret military bases, airfields, and companies that create all sorts of high-tech military gadgets. Antelope Valley is home to some famous military places like Edwards Air Force Base, NASA Armstrong Center, China Lake Naval Air Weapons Station, and U.S. Air Force Plant 42. Big aircraft companies like Skunk Works, Northrop Grumman, and Boeing have set up shop here too. And don't forget about the famous Area 51 nearby. Officially, they call it Homey Airport or Groom Lake. But it's the center of all those UFO stories. People have been talking about possible aliens and fancy alien tech there since the 1960s. All these places, along with their secret and famous reputation, have sparked lots of talk about super advanced planes. Now most of this talk is just wild guessing and rumors. But there are some reports about new stealth planes that might be even better than the old ones. They've got names like Astra Aurora, and the SR-91 projects, and people say they're like the next version of the famous Lockheed SR-71 Blackbird. You might have heard of the Blackbird. It was a super cool stealth plane made in the 60s, mainly for sneaky spy missions. But when it comes to legends, there's nothing quite like the Northrop TR-3A, also known as the Black Manta. This aircraft stirred up a ton of talk among UFO fans and folks who loved mysterious sightings, especially after it got tied to some UFO sightings outside the United States. Back in 1991, there were lots of people in Belgium who claimed they saw a strange triangle-shaped UFO in the night sky. This UFO got a lot of attention because of its weird shape and spooky lights. Some even think the Black Manta might have been flying during the Gulf War. They say it teamed up with F-117 Nighthawk bombers and helped with laser targeting during Operation Desert Storm. It was something totally different from what they were used to seeing, and that was just the start of it. The TR-3A Black Manta is thought to be a super-fast spy plane made in a secret partnership between the U.S. Air Force and the Northrop Grumman. Northrop Grumman is an American company that's famous for making the B-2 Spirit Bomber. Similar to other secret military projects, the Black Manta is a top secret project that used advanced technologies and methods. But the Black Manta was something more than just secret. It was like a leap forward in aircraft tech, blending human and mysterious alien technology to create an aircraft that's truly extraordinary. Yes, you heard correctly. Stealth aircraft with alien tech. The US government hasn't officially confirmed this, but with all the secrecy and the amazing tech that the Black Manta seems to have, it's tough to ignore these rumors. The Black Manta was said to be a research project meant to come before the B-2 Spirit. It was like a test run to make the B-2 Spirit even better. They thought it would be a super cool plane that would lead to a whole new generation of high-tech planes, way more advanced than what we have now. 
Just the way it looked and all its cool features sounded like something out of a science fiction story. The Black Manta had a perfect black triangle shape covered in a special coating that could detect radio signals. It also had super strong long-range laser weapons. Plus, it had two super advanced stealth technologies that were way better than anything else at the time. First, it had a system that messed with enemy radar, making it look different on their screens. It also had a clever climate control thing that could change the weather around it to hide the plane. The real game changer here was its power source. People talked about it using a high-pressure mercury-based system, supercharged with nuclear energy. This not only powered the Black Manta, but also let it fly at mind-blowing speeds using anti-gravity tech. The power source had a device like a magnetic field disruptor or an accelerator ring that squeezed plasma to incredibly high pressures, cooled it way down, and then spun it at crazy speeds, all up to 50,000 RPMs. This process made a special kind of plasma that created an anti-gravity field around the aircraft. This tech allowed the Black Manta to zip through the sky at Mach 9 speeds and still have great control, thanks to some fancy rear thrusters. Of this was thanks to alien technology, probably found from UFO encounters around the world and then studied to fit our own tech. But flying the Black Manta wasn't a piece of cake. Even the best pilots would have a really tough time dealing with the G-forces during its flights. Even today, the TR-3A Black Manta still sparks talks about UFO tech. We won't know for sure if it's real until the US government decides to spill the beans and share the truth. But let's be honest, that's probably not happening anytime soon. However, there are some real reports that suggest the US has been working on this tech for a long time. Starting way back in 2016, the US Navy has been filing a bunch of patents they're about things like machines that make gravity waves and weapons that mess with space-time. But what's really interesting is that all these patents have the same name on them. Dr. Salvatore Cesar Pais. He's had a quiet career working at NASA and Northrop Grumman and doing high-tech stuff for the Navy. Actually, they've invested a whopping $466 million in Dr. Pais' work since 2017. But having a patent for this kind of tech doesn't mean it's actually working or even real. It's probably going to be a long, long time before we see something like this in action. So don't get too excited about man-made UFOs just yet. And that's the end of our video on the Black Manta. Did you like it? Do you think we'll ever have aircraft based on alien tech in the future? Don't forget to subscribe so you can see more and learn more.